Let's see if they wanna pick it in the first phase. E Home Dead Prophet picked three times with 67% win rate, and the Kiro three times as well. Infamous win for the first pick position four. So demon and a sand king. Seconds remaining. Ogre Magi. Five seconds remaining. To team up with the Ogre Magi, I, I am thinking about something like the Ancient Apparition for Team Infamous. Spend so much time for the second pick. Radiant team back. Ooh, they Razor. went straight to the carry. Racer. It should be a mid lane racer. Not sure why they want to reveal their core heroes um, quite early. Because in the past two games, teams tend to pick supporter first. Just like Ehome on this one. Remaining. Support. Show Demon and Sand King. Infamous had banned out Tight Hunter. More like a respect ban. Oops, sorry. Dire team back. Mm. Omni Knight. Another broken heroes Radiant in his path. Team back. Omni Knight. So hard to take him down if you place him as an off laner. Queen of Pain gone. Queen of Pain versus Razor. Mm. Yeah, pretty nice ban by Infamous because uh, Razor kind of lose to Queen of Pain. Easily jumped away from the uh, static link and can jump in and kill him anytime with um, another support with a disable spell so like stun or slow. Rana has been banned out there. Winter Vivant banned as well. Good ban. By Team E Home. Ten seconds remaining. Infamous. Five what a close game remaining. against Team TNC. They could have won that actually, when, but didn't. Then some small mistake happened in the late game, which is cost them the game. One minute to the core heroes. What's it gonna be? This might be a mid laner first for Team E Home. Old Chicken. I am thinking about Phantom Lancer for Team E Home. Might be played by Old Chicken. Dire team pick. And it's that Date Prophet. Take a look into the stats of E Home Date Prophet. They have picked this hero 
three times in the past uh, 30 days with 67% win rate. Actually, not bad. This is the fourth match of their profit. Some small fact about Innocent. Innocent has a win rate of 76% on a bounty hunter with 33 games played in the past 3 months. And this game is going to be Innocent on Sand King. Radiant team pick. Lion. Lion. That is another uh, comfortable hero for team Infamous. Infamous have played a lot of Lion. They have, uh, wait, remaining. yeah, they have picked Lion for nine games in the past thirty days with sixty-seven percent win rate. I kind of like uh, that aggressive lineup from Team Infamous. Ogre Magi and Lion is really easy to gank around. Backrider for E Home, okay. Not bad. This is the side win rate for you guys. Um, in famous, ten seconds remaining. have played ten games on the dire Five with forty percent win rate, while E Home played like uh, two games. <laughs> E-Home played two games on the Radiant side and they have 0% win rate. That means they never win any team in the past 30 days when they play on Radiant side. Fourth pick from Team Infamous. Another small fact about Team Infamous is they have lost every game against non-South America teams in the last month. Uh, EG, Newbie, and the Beauty, I think. Radiant team back. This is lost Legion Team DNC. I hope this game gonna be better for Team Infamous, but they they have. A lot of the single target spell heroes. I think it's time for some AOE. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Slack. Seconds remaining. Say hi to all the guys Five in the chat room. Thank remaining. you so much, everyone, for tuning in. That is a Monkey King last band from Team Infamous. Interesting. I would love to see something with the um, some counter push skills of the last heroes Ten something that can balance remaining. the team fight they have uh, like i mentioned that they have a lot Five of single target remaining. spells heroes maybe it's time for some aoe So Weaver. Now it's about how you're gonna place that Weaver. Ideally, you wanna place that Weaver solo with the Bat Rider because Bat Rider is, is you know, uh, weak against Weaver. Ten seconds remaining. 
It might be a dual lane. We were all gonna die together against the bat. It's a morphling. People saying that morphling is not so good in this patch because um, his his skill reworked and and he cannot do some like fast pushing anymore. But let's see. First game morphling in this tournament. Morphing is the beast. Hmm, yeah. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds. Not remaining. sure why the pro players have told me that morphling is not good in this patch. It's just maybe it's just some personal opinion then. We'll see. We'll see in the game. This should be a good cool game. Alright, we are in the game already. I'm gonna do some quick intro play who in this game for um oops sorry. Okay, for team E home on the radiant side. Ram on Morphling, uh him on Sand King, Fate Bian on Batrider. Old Chicken on the Dead Prophet and Innocence on Child Demon for the team Infamous on the Dire side. Papita on Razor, Schofield on Lion, Old Stinker on Legion Commander, uh, XLGD on Ogre Magi, and Catherine on Beaver. Thirty seconds to battle. Marfling. Catherine is trying to sort them all out. The battle begins. Oh, they started off with that destruction first. Two barry room for each team. So, in the middle, it's gonna be Sand King, Baby Sit, uh, Dead Prophet, versus uh, Razor and Ogre Magi right there. From lane, Old Singer trying to lure the creep back to the tower, but he can body block right there for Old Stinker. Not doing good, uh, they can just easily finish him off in a wave form or just normal attack. First blood, maybe? Uh, oh, Stinger, Seth! He was stopped by the birds, right? Uh, oh, Stinger! Uh, oh! Finally! Jeez, they. No. That was unlucky. Uh, oh, Stinger getting blocked in a tree line and he. Top lane, bat rider. Schofield trying to zone him out. Now this one gonna be quite hard for the bat rider to deal with. Lion and a weaver. Whoa. 
try lane from team e home need to win this two guy but it's really really hard to because uh, axel Tini is quite tanky so they're just gonna aim that lee Jin commander once again getting a lot of body block that old stinker more thing finishing off with a wave form that's not good especially when you feed on morphling we're gonna see a lot of techniques coming out from this morphling in, in this uh, revert he can turn himself into a hero and he also can use a spell Who kills a hate for team e home take a look on the bottom axel gd keep on hit look at that that guy went for a level one uh, bloodlust not looking good now for the ogre guy my ogre my day uh, he's dead next one gonna be old stinker <laughs> Yeah, his his name is kind of. I think he do that to to make fun of Team E Home that got a lot of O in front of the name. It feels like the H in in the in the Chinese society is actually matters. As you can see, you will see a lot of the Chinese players going for something like O Chicken, O O Lamb. Uh, or young lamb, you know, all these stuff. Just get a Botox then. So you can look young forever. Oh, chicken. Now look at that gang in the middle lane. Smoke. Maybe start it off with a burst strike would be a cool idea. Or they're just gonna strike from the side where you use the disruption first. Four minutes spot. It seems like the two supporters of Team Infamous also roaming to the middle lane and trying to back their mid laner up. Let's go field dive inside. Almost get shot by the tower. Trim. Just gonna die for the bat rider. Not doing good for the bat. A Fabian Vicky knows that his hero cannot fight this weaver. Pop the uh, magic one. Here comes the heck and also the stun. Catherine just gonna finish off that Fabian with his Shukushi. Meanwhile, old chicken finish off that Papita in the middle. And be trying to push. Him inside the tree line. He's gonna need backup soon. Catherine is looking to dive on him. Disruption comes out, uh, getting ready for the waveform. Old Stinger died. Next one gonna be Axel GD. Definitely gonna die. Definitely gonna be two kills for Team E Home. 6 1 already. Only 4 kills away from the first 10 kills. Back to the middle, Schofield being chased out by a lot of heroes, e home homies. Him. Radiant are scanning. Mm, wow, nice joke by Schofield. He's not even going back, he's just gonna come back and try to gank. With Earth Spider, here comes the Static Link. Burrow Striker on that Razor in order to stop the Static Link and, and moving forward. But oh, a lot of damage coming out of that Razor. He whipped one down and not. Come on, dive in, Papita. But the tower is shooting on Schofield. They're running off creeps. That's why uh, they, you know, um, call it off.
E home. This is infamous. Seven minutes part for team for both team still e home game. This is a graph going up when it comes to experience for team e home. Him finish that kid cream off on the top lane with the help of the uh, bat rider flaming lasso. Peter. Level seven. Oh, chicken level six. <laughs> well, I kind of worry about the Ogre Machai. I, I think his level is way too low. In famous, he 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 was busy roaming around. Uh, he's still level two, two and a half. His teammate needs more bloodlust from him. Waiting for Lion to do some smoke to the bottom lane. Compared to Sand King and Chow Demon. Now here we go to put down the sentry and just gonna set up with a disruption, then follow up with the Burrow Strike. Waveforms in a time lapse back, get some HP back. Chewing the Crypt Swarm. Gonna hit that Genosen, they just gonna aim for the hard carry. Oh, I'm sorry for the support. The first uh, Genosen not doing good. Maybe one Shukuchi can finish him off. No! Just the Plasma Fear is time to dive in! Uh, it's time to pretend! No, him! Uh, Burrow Swine trying to run away. Still staying in the tree line, uh, waiting for the Creep Wave to hit the tower first. Papita fighting using the Plasma Field. They see the Sand King is already. Scorpio still going the wrong direction. Uh, old Chicken coming down. Uh, Earth Spike on two. Can he get away from that? Um, Spirit Siphon? I don't think so. Now finally, Morphling comes in from the middle lane. No more time lapse. The waveform doesn't hit that Weaver. He's gonna be fine. Now look around here. You know, Sent? They're trying to fight that Schofield. Schofield down by him. Catherine. That is such a big team fight. Eight to three game score. It's nice to see the try. Uh, it's nice to see that infamous trying to strike back on team E home. I mean, if you playing quite bad in early game and you just gonna keep the game like go keep on going without doing anything, well, you're gonna lose real quick in a matter around of. 30 35 minutes because this path from my opinion i think it's all about the landing phase i mean when you have a bad landing phase the only way to to get back on track is to fight and to fight you gotta do some smoke gang and yeah try to outnumber your enemy Earth Spider is going to connect on that Chow Demon. Here come the Fire Blast. Uh, a stun. All the spells on Chow Demon. Nice kill uh, on that Cat Thrym. Sweet Siphon trying to drain some HP back. Old Chicken. Old Chicken. Ooh, Finger of Death. To finish that Old Chicken all. Schofield to somewhere. Morphling on the way to the Lincoln Sphere first item. Actually, not bad. You know, Sen needs to be careful. It's actually in famous doing slightly better at the moment. Diving in for Schofield. He kind of, kind of juke that Morphling. He's gonna make it. Standing link comes down. Morphling ready for another wave four. Ooh, killing three for No Man Lamb. That's the first 10 kills go to Team E Home right here. Get Thrym. What? Wait, what? Uh, Innocent. Seems like he just finished that old weaver with a curse. Shall poison. Look at the 
craft a bit. It's up on Team E home once again for the craft. Man, Weaver coming back again. He kind of mad at that uh, Chow Demon. Chow Demon kill him just now. He might do it again though. White tanky. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We I think Weaver is too mad on Chow Demon, and then he got called the gang by the uh, by the bad rider. You know, say that very fast react by E home players. Fate me and Vicky jump down and and jump in with a flaming lasso. Died two times in a row for that Weaver. Not looking good. Oh, chicken! Calling, for, calling out for teammates. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Are it's near the shrine. Quite near. Alright, it's time to push Kethrim on the way to a Lincoln Sphere as well. What about Morphling? Morphling getting closer and closer to it. You're gonna get Lincoln Sphere within 16 minutes for Radiance sure. Bloodlots already. Level 3 on Bloodlots going straight for the old chicken. I'm pretty sure that Bloodlust is going to play a big role in the team fight next. It's actually a lot different. Batrider might try to jump in for Papita. Flaming Lasso and Draft Lab try to poison everything on that Papita. It's going to be a kill and a tower. Definitely. Looks like they want more frame break and trying to bounce it back. Marfling. Legion Commander still uh, trying to find his first dual victory. Doesn't have any damage at yet. Sand King with um, Blink Dagger already. Kinda bad news for Team Infamous because their supporter is still level 5 for the Ogre Magi. 7 for Lion. Going to catch the Papita. Boros strike inside. Waiting for the waveform. Here comes the epicenter for the first half as well as duo. And that is the kill. Catherine finish off Morphling. Damage has been added to Ostinger. Nice catch. 10 damage added. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Backrider. Go. Ooh, Bio Strike on two. Plasma field comes out. Uh. Flaming drag back the uh, Weaver. He died before he used the time lapse. The thing is, you cannot be catch. Uh, oh no. Ogre Magi gotta be the next one. Bio Strike just hit him. And it's a killing spree for E Home him. Might go for more. I mean, if you got caught by the flaming lasso, there's no way you can get out of there alive because e home always grouping up. This is 16 minutes in the game, and 
The game plan is to push towers from now with the DP ultimate. That's another mistake made by Schofield. You need to be careful because he his level is quite high as well. One time he goes down, gonna give a lot of experience to Team E Home. Disruption in order to stop that Weaver from weaving away. Still got a time lapse though. Now finally time lapse back and get the Burrow Strike right away after that. Innocent, however, goes down because of the event of Plasma Field comes out and that's gonna be him. Killing spree ended by Papita. Double kill as well. Middle tower has fallen. Okay, three. Not sure what uh let let me just check the sound a bit. Not sure. Radiance middle tower has fallen. My waters rise. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Hmm. Audio problem. Hey, um, not sure what are you guys are. Uh, uh, talking about the sound is not synced. I I will look into it and try to fix it. Uh, after this, then, blinking, flaming last or drag back that race a burrow strike inside as well as epicenter. They spend a lot of damage on that racer and it's a kill. Burrow strike catching that over Majai. Trying to do some suicide. In famous this game looking very hard for them to to fight the Chinese representative e home the sound delayed I think maybe because um, not sure if it's the um, streaming problem or Okay, okay. Uh, I'll check. Oh, Stinger. Now, this is going to be him instead to die right here. He went in a little bit too deep. Chow Demon will follow him. Innocent. Uh, at least let me deal some damage before I go down. And uh, that will definitely be the damage added to Old Stinger. 34 damage added already for Old Stinger. Keep it coming for a team infamous, they are so far behind. But... 3k! Still can do it. Yeah. Audio delay. All right, I'll, I'll I'll look into it. Thanks for uh, let me know. Sand King, they're all inside. Sand King, strike in the middle. Side off in the duel, but Earth Spike only hit one. Uh, e home lamb. I finish off that score field. Sorry, no lion. So no, uh, you know. It's quite hard to play in this one for Lion because the uh, Morphling will always fire you. They want to get rid of Lion so no more Hex and a stun. If you let that Lion alive, it's, it's going to be really hard for... Oh! Nice shooting adaptive strike in order to stop the TP. Papita running away. Still got some heals on that old Stinker. e home lamb. Disruption first. Maybe follow up with some uh, slowdown with the... Ooh. That Morphling is just gonna sweep everyone. e -Hope got a very good setup heroes like Disruption, Burrow Strike. Disruption, Burrow Strike is so good. Now I think Shadow Demon is the kind of hero that we need to watch in this tournament. 
when we're talking about position 5, people always say uh, maybe Rubik or or Winter Wyvern. And and Chub Demon always get overlooked. Him. Doesn't have enough uh, mana to use his ultimate though, so he died right after. Kid Spring finished him off with a Crypt Swarm. But however, his teammate Schofield down because of that Morphling once again for the second time in around like uh, two minutes. But Peter walking back to the higher ground. Uh, Lamb going straight for XLGD. Hatsune die in the tree line. Uh, Static Bling gets some damage though. But ooh, Spirit Typhon is an actually stronger Ling. Uh, he is gonna use a time lap, he gets some HP back. But that is just enough for him to run away, not to fight or kill. Oh, thanks, man. Maybe you're trying to refresh. That is the fish. The mother of the sea, old chicken. Radiance top tower is under attack. Lovely. 25 to 12 game score. Let's take a look. I'm going to show you guys some items update. Take a look at yourself. Schofield jumping in trying to stop that PP by using his stun, but it was a bit too late. Oh no, it's gonna be Papita Razor once again. Every time that he comes out to farm in the middle, he always got ganked down by Team e home. This is gonna hurt Team Infamous so bad. Keep losing the hard carry. That is fifth time already that he goes down. Lamb is on the way to the Eye of Scotty. Oh, Morphling diving inside, easy kill on the support. Some monster kills already. Now, the fact that they have to defend Radiance only three guys might cause them a set of racks. 24 minutes in, in famous, losing the first Radiance set rack. Not looking good for the um, South American team. Bottom lane, maybe already used the time lapse. I don't think he can run away from Old Chicken now. He was silenced, but Old Chicken moving kind of fast. Almost hit by a fish. Not looking good, infamous. Well, the carry white is it, it's already hard to fight that morphling in the late game. Plus, whenever they're trying to do something, they always got countered by E home. Something like that happened. That's what I'm talking about. Blinking barrel strike, and that's gonna be another kill on the core. Morphling. Tons of damage coming out. He didn't even care about the ethereal blade. I kind of like that item choice. Going for definitely stats. Not some E blade shooting shotgun morphing like a redneck cowboy. Drag back into the epicenter barrel strike. Uh, nice kills uh, by him and good open by Fake Fian. It's time for another set of racks. Meanwhile, top lane, Kid Ring trying to put the pressures on Team uh, E Home, force them to come back, but E Home doesn't care. Top 
they're just gonna end the game straight away. It's a GG call coming out from Team Infamous. 30 to 12 game score. Ehome finished this game only 26 minutes. We are not done yet, guys. We got. I got one more match for you guys. Next one is going to be VJ Storm versus TNC coming up real quick.